Okay, so we have our second video in the series. Today we will be transferring share price data or share prices from Yahoo Finance to Excel. Here we have Yahoo Finance. We're familiar with this layout and how it looks. So we'll be going to historical data it's where all the share prices are stored, all the various points of the share prices. Here we have all the share prices. See high, low, open close and the star next to asterisk next to it uh, just be aware of that and adjust it close as well and the double asterisk um, the volume the trading volume for the day or whatever period you'll be choosing here we're going down the list to see if everything is there yes everything is there so this is just the the key the asterisk is a uh, the close is adjusted for splits and the adjusted close is adjusted for splits and dividends. So just be aware of that. You'll mostly be using the adjusted close, I think, um, when you're doing your calculations. You can see the times that you can choose, one day, five days, three months, six months, and so on. If you'd like, you can adjust it. You can show only dividends or stock splits. If you're interested in dividends, that would be kind of cool. We'll just look at historical prices and you can choose the frequency. So that's how many times they show the prices. You can choose weekly. I'll show you an example. You can see it's uh, divided up weekly, but for this we'll be using daily as I think that's mostly what you'll be using. So you just press apply and then you can press download. You come up with the CSV file, we'll open Excel. So the first thing you do is save the Excel file and we're just going to change this name to MRP share price data and we're going to turn it into Excel workbook. It's kind of the same, but we'll just work with the workbook. Yeah, I already saved one earlier. So let's widen that out. Yeah, so we have everything here. You can just double check. So we're just going to sort this uh, from, you see there's the most recent one at the bottom. We're just going to sort it the other way around. So you just right click, sort, newest to oldest, and there we go. This is very similar layout to what we've seen in our university work, I'm sure. Just going to highlight the adjusted close. And you'll notice these numbers um, are fairly high. That's because they're in cents. So we want to turn it into rand. So I'm just going to add a comma in there, two decimal places. We will be covering formula on how to turn everything into rands. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.